hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this 3d text animation inside of after effects without using any plugins so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 seconds. And width and height is 1920 and 1080. And hit OK. Now choose Grid and Guide option and Title Safe Action. Now first thing we will do is we will create our text. I'll call it as 3D Text and hit ctrl a and for the color i will choose white color for now press ctrl alt home go to the align tab and align it to the center press s for scaling option scale it a little bit now press f4 so we will get this option and we will choose this option for 3d now after enabling this option we are getting this renderer classic 3d so click on this classic 3d option in renderer classic 3d instead of classic 3d we will choose cinema 4d and hit ok after this we will get this geometry options go this geometry options and extrude depth i will choose something like 40 for now or well, let's say 60 now after that what we will do is we will create one camera so for that what we will do is just right click over here new and camera options and hit ok right click new and create one null object and parent this camera with this null object and also make this null object 3d now first thing we will do is we'll rotate this camera a little bit by using our null object so i will make it something like let's say minus 8 and let's make it 4 I'll select this 3D text and press S for scaling option and increase the scale little bit. Now as you can see it looks a little bit weird because there is no lighting in our scene. So for that what we'll do is so for that what we'll do is we will press Ctrl Alt Shift L and we'll use spotlight spotlight one. Don't change the settings or anything, just hit OK. So as you can see we are getting this light over here but we have to adjust it for, so for that what we will do is instead of one view i will choose four views so we are getting something like this and in this we will move our light over here and i will adjust this point over here now hit ctrl d and we will move this over here by using this handles we will move our light over here and we will adjust this handle just like this move it over here and here and then here and we will adjust this light over here now again we will hit ctrl d duplicate it two times select this light and move it over here then here adjust this like this and move this handle over here same for this light i'll move this light from here to here then from here to here and then we will adjust this handle over here now i will go to my one view option so we are getting something like this now what we need to do is we will hit double a on this one and for the intensity i will make it 100 select this one hit double a for the color you are free to choose any color i'll choose 
something like this and for the intensity I make it 80 or let's say choose white color only so we are getting something like this now after that what we will do if you want then you can rotate your camera you can scale it scale down little bit so it will create one zoom impact over here now what we will do is as we know that our text layer is in 3d so what we are going to do is first go to the character option and for the color i will choose red color now hit ctrl d and i will move it on this z axis and i will bring it a little bit forward and for the color i will choose white color and go to this geometry options and extrude depth i will choose 10 so we are getting something like this and in this for this red color layer in geometry options i will increase the extrude depth up to 120 so we are getting something like this and for this let hit double a intensity should be 100 so we are getting this kind of height now if you want then you can hit ctrl alt shift l and you can create one ambient light hit double a for the intensity i will choose 10 just like this now or you can increase it down a little bit if you want then you can change this parallel but for now i will choose ambient let's say 5 now what i'll do is i'll hit ctrl a to select all these elements hit ctrl shift c i'll call it as 3d text and hit ok now what i'll do is i'll create one background by hitting ctrl y and i'll move it over here now go to the effect and presets and panel and apply four color gradient now for this color gradient you are free to choose any tech colors i'll choose some random colors for now i'll choose the darker version of this one and something like this now go to this i think the lights are a little bit high so i'll bring it down intensities of this light let's make it 40 60 for this light also intensity should 15 let's say 80 yeah this looks good to me now what we will do is hit you now we will create one new null object i'll make it 3d i'll bring it down over here and i'll parent this 3d text to this null so we'll get control for this text now what i'll do is i'll create a keyframe animation on this null one null two sorry create one keyframe and let's make it zero go to few frame forwards up to 20 frames let's make it 120 after few frames let's make it 80 and after a few frames let's make it 100 instead of full i'll choose quarter select this keyframes hit f9 go to this graph editor and adjust this graph editor something like this this
sorry 3d text animation press control alt home align it to the center go to the effect and preset panel i'll apply cc reptile effect on it move it over here over here over here and over here and repeat mode i'll choose brick go to the main animation machine hit control zero and drag down that bg over here and in the straight text go to the character tab i don't want any fill only thing i want is fill so i choose stroke something like three go to the main animation and now press p on pos for position property move it over here create one keyframe go at six move it over here by holding shift Now go to our main animation, we are getting something like this, hit T for opacity and bring down our opacity a little bit. So we are getting something like this. Now choose this 3D text, press P for position, alt click on this position and apply legal expression, I will type 2 by 5 let's say. So you get this wiggly animation, you can increase this values something like this so yep this is our final 3d text animation thank you for watching this tutorial guys if you like this video then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned